Okay, this question says translate the shape, right? So uh, there's a lot of information just there, and they've given us a translation vector. So once you know that, right? Once you see the fact that it tells you to, it tells you to translate. Well, you know what you need to do. In a translation vector, the top number means how much you move left or right. The bottom number tells you how much you move up or down. You need to know that fact. Okay, so the top number, left, right, the bottom number, up, down. Um, at the top, in our case, it says five. So that means I need to move this shape here five units to the right. Okay, so five places to the right. You could use tracing paper to help you with this, or you could just move it in bumps across. I suggest maybe the one of the best ways is to use the tracing paper so you precise, you know exactly what you're doing. We down now need to look at the minus two and that minus two says move it two down. So I'm gonna move the whole shape two down. That is my answer. Okay? As I said, you could either pick a corner and then go one, two, three, four, five, and then two down. And that's where that corner is going to be. And I could draw the rest of the shape around it relative to that. Or you could put some tracing paper on there, move the whole thing five units to the right, and then two units down. And that gets you your right answer. Okay, let's look at part B. In part B, it says describe fully the single transformation that maps shape A onto shape B. Okay, so we want to describe fully, so every aspect of the transformation, the one transformation so it's either going to be fully a enlargement or a rotation or a, a reflection or a translation i need to decide which one of them it is that takes us from a to b and looking at this you should be able to recognize that it is going to be a rotation right so i'm going to use tracing paper it's absolutely essential that you're using tracing paper for this and i'm going to try out a few centers of rotation so you put your pencil down at various places and then try to see where the rotation might be okay uh, the first couple you use may well not work but I think it, it sort of looking like about that point that point looks quite central to both of them so if I actually put my pencil there and then rotate the tracing paper you can see what I mean by this so I'm doing a test here and that's my center of rotation Think about how much I rotated it through. I rotated it, so I need to write rotation. I turned it 180 degrees, so it's half a turn. 180 degrees, do not write half a turn. 180 degrees is what you need to indicate. Doesn't matter whether it's clockwise or anticlockwise for 180 degrees, okay? Because it's 180 degrees, it's the same either way. And then the other thing I need to indicate is the center of rotation. Be very careful with the coordinates that you write here. And remember, it's along the corridor up the stairs. So that point over here is 0, 1. Okay, this is a really straightforward question. It's an easy three marks, right? You need to make sure you get all of it.